We've been talking about this all stream. This is season 26 start date has been revealed as well as some of the changes. There's going to be a lot of pissed off people here. And I'm thinking basically what Blizzard has done is they've made the season pointless. So instead of getting some bonus XP from Echoing Nightmares, now the most efficient way is pretty much just doing greater rifts. Anyway, we'll get to that as we scroll down. I had a quick look myself earlier on so season 26 begins april 15 so today is the fifth um season 25 ends on the 10th then five days after that we've got the beginning here it'll be a friday for uh all of you in the u.s uh saturday afternoon about midday ish 11 a.m 12 p.m or so um we had daylight savings recently so i'm not too sure exactly when it works out to it might be 11 or 12 one of them i don't know I think it's 11 a.m. this time. Anyway, on the 15th, the, the, the new season does begin. Now, scrolling down, rewards. We've got the rewards. So, the monk obviously starts with the inners. Marauders for Demon Hunter. Rakos for Barbarian. I can't re remember all the others. But, as usual, you get a, a new pet. Looks pretty cool. And a portrait frame as rewards. So, going down... The new seasonal theme, a lot of you that tuned in for my PTR streams will know it's Echoing Nightmares. So different type of rift. Um, you have to get those little little uh, materials that rift guardians drop, put them in Can Ice Cube, and then you get like this little silver, white and silver portal that you enter. It's basically like an arena that you try and kill enemies until you either die or fail and get overwhelmed in. And then you get like a bunch of XP as a reward and loot materials as well. So some cosmetics here. Uh, there's a better look at the pet. What's he got there? A big lollipop. Rakus's Remembrance Portrait. And the Toothsome Trooper set. Cool. Alright, so scrolling on down. We know... Alright, the Conquest is going to be super easy. Need for Speed. Complete an FLM Rift at max level on Torment 10 within 2 minutes. Super easy, especially considering some of the map changes. You're going to get a lot of density. Avarice, uh, again, I've got my little secret ways on how to achieve this really, really easily. Basically, um, what is it? 50 million gold streak. You have to be on a 50 million gold streak outside of the vault and the inner sanctum. So the vault will be the easiest way to do it. It'll be too easy. But there are other locations that can make this super easy as well. So don't worry. We'll go through that during the season. It's going to be super easy to get the conquests. Divinity, again, reach greater rift level 75 solo. Anyone can do that. Um, on a good day, the gems, like, they're all going to be easier this time around. And you only, you only need three for the season. So conquests won't be an issue. Hodrick's Gift. So here are the starting sets that I mentioned earlier. Barbarian, Legacy of Raycor, Crusader, the Archon set, Demon Hunter, Marauder, which is probably what I'll be playing. The Monk, Inner's Reach, but unfortunately, Fire Allies have been nerfed for next season. The Pestilence set for the Necro, Zuni Masters for Witch Doctor, Del Sears for Wizard. I don't think we'll be seeing many Wizards next season. All right, Echoing Nightmares, blah, 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 blah. So these are some of the um, the PTR changes. And then we've got the post-PTR changes. So these are the final changes that we want to go through. Let's do it right now. Monsters from the Echoing Nightmares no longer drop gold, items, or health globes. Spewing, because health globes were definitely handy, especially when your potions are on cooldown. When things get difficult, you definitely want health globes. But anyway, they adjusted the damage done by Exploding Lunatics and Meteors to be more deadly. They were already deadly, now they're going to be more deadly. So I'm not happy about that one personally. Um, adjusted the difficulty of tiers 100 plus. So I'm, I'm saying, I, I would hazard a guess that anything over 100 levels is going to be even more difficult. Now this one really shits me. They've replaced the shield pylon with a speed pylon. So it's going to be a lot more difficult now without that shield pollen at the end when you get to like 100 or level 110 um, tier inside the Echoing Nightmares. So that's really shit. A shit change. Adjusted. This is the worst one right here though. Adjusted the XP rewarded by Echoing Nightmares to be aligned with Greater Rift turn-in rewards. So now if you do like a 120 or a 130 Echoing Nightmare, it'll be the same as closing a 120 or 130 Greater Rift. Now, Echoing Nightmares will probably take longer than like a two-minute speed run in a Greater Rift. So now they've basically nerfed the XP and there's no actual beneficial reason to do Echoing Nightmares as opposed to Greater Rift. So basically the theme, 
I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but it sounds to me as though you're better off just doing greater rifts in like rat runs or other group speed runs setups as opposed to doing any echoing nightmares. So they, but without any item buffs, without any damage buffs or anything like that, there are no other abilities or items added into into this season. It's all about the echoing, echoing nightmare rift, but they've basically made it pointless. So the, se the, the seasonal theme is basically there for nothing at this stage. I'm hoping, hoping that they change this. Um, but if you know otherwise, please let me know in the comment section down below. Reduce the Echoing Nightmare closing timer to 30 seconds. That's great. I think a minute was too much. Prevented Echoing Nightmares from being opened in games lower than level 70. Fair enough. Adjusted the drop rate of Petrified Screams from Greater Rift Guardians. Apparently, instead of a 100% drop rate, this is another silly, silly change. I think it's like 50% now. So only half the greater rifts that you do when you kill the rift guardian, you get the petrified screams which are required. They're the material required to open up the echoing nightmare. So I'm um, quite unhappy about these changes. I think it's going to be a bust for the season already. I'm honestly hoping that they change all this. I think there'll be a bit of an outcry. Um, but I'm interested to see what other people think about it. Everything else is kind of irrelevant because for me, it's all about it's all about the um, the seasonal theme, which looks like they've ruined. But you tell me what you all think.